Welcome to the homework for lesson 18. It's module 4 of grade 2. Write your name first. And this is this whole homework page is all about using the place value disks. Uh, if you had that, if you made your own and cut them out, you can use them. Uh, most people don't have them at home. If you got to draw them, it's going to be really hard to fit all of them on this page. I'm going to try to do it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to give it a shot. But you really, you're going to need like another blank page of paper just to do all these little charts. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to try and fit them all on here. And I'm going to have to cheat a little bit by zooming in. All right, so we've got 20 plus 9. This is going to be a lot of bundling 1s and a lot of bundling 10s. And uh, we'll just do the best we can to get it to fit here. So and we're gonna have to, these are going to have to be HTO charts. And you'll see right away why. 20 plus 90, 2 10s, and two three four five six seven eight nine and you can see you're going to be bundling uh, all that there's ten tens that's a hundred so that's a hundred ten and then This is just going to be really silly. 60 plus 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And these 10 here will make 100. And you can see there's 3 left over for 130. 29 plus 93. That's 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 93. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, and three more ones. One, two, three. So we have ten ones. That makes it ten. And now we have ten tens here. That makes a hundred. So we have a hundred. 22. Sixty-nine plus seventy. The reason you don't have very much room on this page is because you're not supposed to be writing all this down. But it's the only way I have to really show you how to do it. <laughs> Sixty-nine plus seventy-two. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and seventy two. I need two more ones. One, two, and seven tens. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Ten ones makes for another ten. Ten tens makes for a hundred. We have a hundred forty one. And then we have our forty five plus eighty six. Forty. H T O forty 
86, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, tens. Then we need 6 more 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 1s makes a 10. 10 tens makes a 100. We have a 100. 31. Forty six plus ninety six. All right, so I'm gonna have to start taking some shortcuts here because I've just run out of room. So here you see that this that's one more. So that gets us up to 132. And this is ten more. Then the other add in. So this is gonna be 131 plus eleven. It's gonna be 142. Look at the 47 and 115. Forty-seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The 115 is going to be, there's a 100. There's a 10. And then we need five more ones. One, two, Three, four, five. Ten tens, I mean ten ones makes a ten. There. And that's it. All right, so we have a hundred. We have one, two, three, four, five, six tens, and two ones. That's a hundred sixty-two. And now we see we have 47 is an add end here and 47 is an add end there. This is 115 and this is 95. So this one is 20. This is 20 less than the 115. So our sum is going to be 20 less. It's going to be 142. For this last one, we can see here we've got a 10 right there. So the two tens plus seven tens that's going to be nine tens right 90 and then the eight plus the two is going to be another 10 so 90 and 10 you're going to end up bundling tens to make a hundred <clears throat> and we have it's kind of the same thing going on here where we have an eight and a two except now let me erase this just so you can see it you see here it's the same 28 plus 72, except now there's another 100 there. So we're going to count that, and it makes it 200. Let me zoom back out a little bit. Circle the statements that are true as you solve each problem using place value disks. So if you if you made 68 on a place value disk chart, and I do have some room down here to draw it. If you drew this, you're going to start at the hundreds, tens, and ones. You're going to start with the 68. Now this really, again, you really should, if you have place value disks, that's really what this is for, is to actually have the disks and use them. Drawing them is not really the same. Uh, so, let's see. You, know, you could use dimes and pennies for tens and ones. You could do that. And that, that would be something you could use instead of place value disks, where the dimes would be tens and the pennies would be ones. I really, I highly recommend it. If that's, if that's what you have to work with, then use that. Because drawing these pictures is going to be really tedious. And it's not going to really do the same thing for you. So 68, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 tens and 8 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
So, as we solve each one using place value disks, what do we do? We draw the 51. That was 6, right? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's our 10s. And then we need another 1. 1. So what do we do here? How many 1s do we have? We have 9 ones, so we don't bundle anything there. And the 10s, we do have 10 10s to make into 100. So what did we do? And we end up with, what, 119. Did I change 10 ones for a 10? No. Did I change 10 10s for 100? I did, so I'll circle that. The total of the two parts, is it 109? No, it's not. It was 119, so I'll circle that one. HTO. Draw this one down here. 127, that's 100. Two tens and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now 46, one, two, three, four, and six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we don't have enough tens to bundle any tens, but we do have ten ones here. So there's another ten. All right, did I change ten ones for a ten? Yes, I did. Did I change any 10s for 100? No, I didn't, so I'm not going to circle that. I'm only going to figure out what it adds up to, right? Figure out which one of these it is. So I'm having 100, and this is 6. One more is 7 10s, and then 3 1s, so it's 173. Number 3, write the problem, solve the problem using your place value disks, and fill in the missing total. Then write an addition sentence that relates to the number bonds. So let's see. Solve find the missing. Okay, so here's our addition sentence, right? These are the parts. The at parts are add ends, and the whole is going to be our total. So it's 86 plus 57. And I highly recommend using dimes and pennies. Use dimes for tens and pennies for ones. Uh, if you have the change lying around, or you can get it, to pretend having tens, of, because nobody has place value discs at home. Uh, so here we go, 86. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now 57. One, two, three, four, five, tens. And seven more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have. 10 tens, we have 10 ones, we have the 100, we have 4 tens left here, and for the ones we have 3 ones, so it's 143. All right, and then here, for this one, I'm going to make an HTO chart. So here we have the same thing here. We have parts, and we have our whole. So our parts are add-ins, and our whole is the total. Let's go back and finish the number bond there. 129 plus 78. I know the only thing that's tricky about this is you see that 129, and you think, think that number is just so big. It's got to be... The total, but it doesn't have to be. You can have big numbers for add ends too. So hundreds, tens, and ones. I'll make this, see if I can make this chart 
can use a little more room here and go sideways. So we need a hundred, two tens and nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now 78, that's seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's ten ones, that makes it ten. Now I have ten tens, and that makes another hundred. How many hundreds do I have? Two. I don't have any tens. And I have seven ones, so I have 207 for a total. And we have just a few more addition problems. And finally, plenty of room. So, Forty-five and fifty-five. One, two, three, forty. One, two, three, four, five. Fifty is one, two, three, four, five tens. And I need five. One, two, three, four, five ones. Bundle the ones. Oh, there's another ten. Now I have ten tens, and I, that means I have a hundred. So I have a hundred. I don't have any tens, and, and I don't have any ones. So that's a hundred. Maybe you saw that one coming. Sometimes you just get into doing these charts over and over again, and you don't even notice what the numbers are until you're counting them at the end. That's not a good thing. Tens and ones. Seventy-eight and thirty-three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now thirty-three. One, two, three. And three more ones. One, two, three. There's ten ones. That makes it ten. And here's ten tens, that makes a hundred, so we have a hundred, a ten, and a one, that's one hundred eleven. And our last one. Thirty-seven, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven ones. Eight tens and eighty four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four ones. One, two, three, four. We have ten ones. That makes a ten. We have ten tens. That makes a hundred. We have one hundred, one hundred, two tens, and one one. That's a hundred twenty one.